CES is our biggest show. We tend to release our new products at CES every year. So it's our third year running. We brought our suits, uh, our uh, technology. We brought the solutions that, uh, that are purpose for training in XR. Um, we present how we could accomplish uh, better results at uh, health and safety training, uh, new skills acquisition, and so on and so forth. And we're also releasing a new product today. Uh, we brought a glove that allows us to feel the texture and feel the resistance of the object so we can actually hold it. And as motion capture works wirelessly uh, off the battery, so it's a standalone unit set of, set of gloves. Uh, where, and also it has biometrical sensors that allow us to run some analysis on how the user behaves inside the simulation. So this is something like every XR user ends up doing, you know, the moment that everybody starts believing in the content and the, in the fact that the VR world is, looks real, they want to feel it. Everybody uh, put, pulls the arm forward and tries to touch something, but it's not there. Now with our glove, finally, we will give a solution where it is possible to touch it, but also it's possible to feel it. We've been developing the glove probably longer than the suit itself. Uh, it's a very challenging, it's very complicated, complex set of, uh, set of electronics, piece of, uh, piece of electronics. Uh, uh, obviously, it really depends on the strengths of the user and exactly what type of objects we're trying to feel. Obviously, uh, to make this, the glove lighter, uh, we cannot have it like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's strength resistance. <laughs> Obviously, everything is uh, good in moderation. When we talk about general interaction, and because this is the first first glove of, of its kind, uh, uh, we, we we will be exploring the worlds. Uh, we will be exploring different objects the way they are at the moment. And if we need some adjustment, we'll definitely uh, look into the uh, customer feedback and make sure we actually live up to expectations. We're using uh, mechanical motion capture, so this is uh, zero, zero drift, it's a high precision motion capture, which is sub-millimeter sub uh, accuracy. And that's what uh, I think a lot of the market that we work with in uh, training, in high level training, or uh, medical uh, analysis and technical scientific analysis, uh, customers want it, so we, we just delivered that. We're yet to discover this market for us. Uh, we have been talking uh, to location-based entertainment VR, VR places uh, about placing a suit in, in uh, sort of high-end experiences. Uh, we haven't uh, spoken about the glove itself, uh, uh, primarily because we've only released it uh, literally two days ago. So there have, <laughs> hasn't been enough conversations, I think. But we, we may arrive to that point as well. It would be interesting to see how the users uh, um, would receive another dimension to immerse themselves and to utilize their hands, the natural interface, to interact with virtual reality, virtual world. Developers will start uh, getting their deliveries uh, as soon as the end of uh, first quarter. So we're talking about April time, we should be full on de de developing and integrating it into existing software products. For more information, guys, come to teslasuit.io and read up more on VR Focus. We love the site and we always share our new information there.